Going on now to part three of our word problems in two variables. We're going to look at number 16. It says the sum of the legs of a right triangle is 17 inches. All right, so here we have a right triangle. And the way it works is the right angle is right there. And then the side opposite the right angle, this is the hypotenuse. And then to either side adjacent to the right angle, we have the legs. So we're saying for our first equation, the short leg plus the long leg, A plus B, is equal to 17. Then it says the longer leg, which is B, it's two more than twice the shorter. So twice the shorter would be 2a and two more. So these are our equations. And what method? Well, this one's obvious already. We we'll use substitution. So a plus 2a plus 2. There's our value for b. We replaced it. Equals 17. So we have 3a equals 15. Transposing the 2. a equals 5. Well, if A equals 5, B will be 12. And there are our answers. So sort of an easy one and a little background review of a right triangle. Now, Todd, for this next one, has 27 coins in his piggy bank. Making that up. They're all dimes and quarters. So our first equation then would be dimes plus the number of quarters equals a total of 27. Now again, you could use x and y, but d and q work out very well. Now, the coins have a value of $4.95. How many of each coin does he have? Well, what is a dime worth? Ten cents. And the quarters are worth 25 cents. And all together, the number of dimes times 10, the number of quarters times 25 will equal 495. Now, since we've used substitution a couple of times, let's use elimination. These are things we did already. So I'm going to multiply this one by a negative 10 so that here these will cancel out. So I have a negative 10d minus 10q equals a negative 270. And I'll rewrite this now, 10D 
plus 25q equals 495. So these cancel out. Here I get a positive 15q. Here I get 225. Divide both sides by 15. I get q equals 15. So the number of quarters is 15. Well, if I subtract 15 from 27, I get my dimes now are 12. So hopefully you're catching on to the rhythm of things. These are the methods we use to solve, whether it's elimination or substitution. In 18, we have two angles are complementary. That is, these angles are going to make a 90 degree. The sum of complementary angles are 90 degrees. So again, we have this angle that we might call A and this one that we might call B. So A plus B equals 90. That information is in the word complementary. Now the larger angle, let's call the larger angle B, doesn't make a difference at this stage, but then when we define B, it's six times, well, six less than five times the smaller. So five times the smaller minus six. So the two angles equal 90. The larger angle is six less than five times the smaller. And you might say, yes, we'll use substitution. So it's going to be A plus what B is now, 5A minus six equals 90. So we have 6A, we're going to add 6 to both sides and get 96, A equals 16. So if A is 16, We subtract 16 from 90 and get 74. And if we add these together, we get the 90, of course. And that's what we have up here. Going on to number 19. Here we're talking again about the same type of angles. Uh, acute angles are less than 90, but two acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. So we know then that these angles, right down here, an A and a B. So A plus B equals 90. The larger angle we'll call the larger angle B again, is equal to one and a half times the smaller angle. So that would be like three halves. One and a half is three halves the smaller angle. And those are my equations. So again, this will give us a chance to use a fraction. We have A plus, now our B can be replaced by this, 3 halves A equals 90. Get rid of our fraction here. We multiply everything by 2. So this gives us then 2A. Here the 2's cancel out, we get 3a equals 180. This is 5a 
equals 180, A equals 36. Well, if A is 36, what will B become? Well, 54, subtracting it from 90. And these are your answers, and that's how we got it. Our last example is two angles are supplementary. Now, if we have a right angle, that's 90. If we have a complementary, which are two 90s, you end up with what is called a straight angle, which is 180. So two angles are supplementary. Here the key word is that they're going to equal 180. So there's my first equation. So we then go to the larger angle is 15 less than twice the smaller angle. Well, B, the larger angle, is 15 less than the twice the smaller angle. There's our second equation. Now, you might say it's in this form. Again, the obvious would be to use substitution. So we have A plus what we said B was. 2a minus 15 equals 180. So there's our b value right there. Collect like terms, 3a. Add this to both sides. Divide both sides by 3. And we get a equals 65. Well, if A is 65, what will B be? Well, we subtract 65 from both sides, and we get B equals 115. And that's what we have. So we use a lot of skills from Chapter 2. With the graphing part, we did skills from chapter three and you we reviewed the two methods addition and substitution and hopefully this is helpful